Solar power not only saves electricity and the environment, it can also save you a lot of money. Putting solar panels on a home isn't cheap, however, but a program not only encourages solar power use, it is also helping low-income families with the bill. Erica Mackey, executive director and co-founder of Grid Alternatives, joins us live this morning to talk a little bit more about it. Thanks so much for joining. Thanks, Laura, for having me. Now, this us. program's been around for a couple of years now. Yeah, more we're than a that. fairly new organization, but we're installing solar electric systems for low-income families, and we've done about um, almost 100 systems, probably 90 systems to date. Which is wonderful to do because it's not cheap to put these solar panels up. No, it's a pretty expensive technology, although it is pretty cost-effective. Um, for wealthier families that are over baseline and paying a lot for their electricity. Okay, now the savings really can be outstanding. We've heard it before. It can reduce electric bills by nearly 75%, so it makes a big difference. It does, and low-income families are the folks that are struggling month to month to pay those monthly expenses, and so our program really helps those people who really, really need the savings. Now, they need to be able to own their homes? They do. While a lot of low-income folks rent houses um, because a landlord isn't going to invest in a system, right. um, it's better for homeowners. Okay, because, right, I was trying to There's put it all together. There's a split incentive. Um, right. Why would a, home, why would a renter invest in a system um, that isn't on a rooftop they own? Right, exactly, because it is tough for some low-income, it's tough for a lot of families in it's the Bay true, Area it's to true. be able to afford a yeah. home in the first place. But those that do have a home, which, which you know, we know folks are having a tough time keeping the mortgages there, if yeah. they do, um, how do you qualify for it? So what we deems a low-income family? Well, um, um, it's based on area median income. So in San Francisco, a family of four would need to have an income less than $57,000. Um, and it varies based on the region you live in, so by your county. All that information is on our website, and you can call us to find out. Um, but a family needs to have this lower income, and they apply to our program. We have a standard application process, and we'll go out and meet with them, show them some photos, talk to them about how the process will happen. And you actually use community volunteers to put in the we panels? We do. We're a licensed electrical contractor and a nonprofit organization, but we do all the work with volunteers. So anybody, you know, you or um, your friends or family can come out and volunteer. We have a mandatory training that people need to attend, but after that they can volunteer as many times as they want, get up on a rooftop or work on the ground and see what solar is like. Which is great. And do you ever get families that say, not only, you know, can I apply for it, I qualify, but maybe I'll help All of a our families participate as what we call a sweat equity requirement. If they're elderly or disabled, they can find their friends or family to volunteer. Um, but when people volunteer, they're working alongside homeowners that are volunteering themselves. And we've talked about what a difference this makes to the families themselves when it comes to income, the bills. But you're making a big difference to the environment. Oh, certainly. Um, you know, we're reducing the carbon dioxide emissions that are typically um, from traditional power plants. It would be nice if we could do it in all homes in California. Yeah, it's great. Well, one of the great things about our program is if you come out and volunteer, you can see that it's not rocket science. You know, it's a really magical technology, but it can be on your home or your neighbor's home and on low-income families' homes as well. So it'd be nice to make a difference there. Now, how do you choose? I know you have, you serve the entire Bay Area, or how does that work? Yeah, we have, you know, we're we're funding driven because we're a nonprofit. So there are some regions where we have more funding than other regions, but we are throughout the Bay Area, as far north as Lake County. In fact, we're going to be installing 30 systems in uh, Los Angeles, so um, we're starting chapters throughout California. Probably Los Angeles will be the first chapter other than um, San Francisco. So, well, well, it's great. It's nice to see it grow, and, and what a difference that you're making for so many families. We Thank can you all, so uh, much. Really, we all benefit from it, too, with the environment as well. Thank you for joining us. She mentioned her uh, website as well. We've actually added a link to Grid Alternatives on our website at NBC11.com. Just look under Featured Links. Thanks great. for joining Thank us, Thank you. Good to meet you.